What started as a loaf of bread and the great debate of stuffing versus dressing came out to be one of the best baked stuffings and I love it. It has smoky flavors. We have elements of cheese in here with smoked gouda. We have sausage, we have bacon, we have delicious bread all together to create one of the best Thanksgiving stuffings if I do say so myself and you're about to find out why. So let's make it. If you're like me, you love Thanksgiving and you love thinking of bringing all your wonderful family, your friends, your loved ones around and making good food that's gonna nourish them, comfort them, and really just enjoy the season. And that's what this stuffing is really doing. Now, like I said, this is a unique stuffing. It has kind of a smoky flavor, it has cheese in it, and it really pairs well with kind of just like a hearty Thanksgiving meal. So what I'm doing is getting ready the aromatics, which is very traditional when it comes to stuffing. We have a lot of onion and we have a lot of celery. Now, when you think about it, you're probably thinking like, man, Caleb, that is a lot of those items. When you're making stuffing, you have a lot of bread. That's what that's what stuffing is, or dressing. Um, and the thing is, that bread needs flavor. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add in all this flavor. Now, what I have is my celery and onion chopped fairly fine. I would say it's a kind of a nice medium to small dice. The onion I have always a little bit smaller, so it kind of melts in. And what I have over here is my bacon that I have been cooking. Now, the bacon, I like to get nice and crisp, and we're using this in two ways. We're gonna use the wonderful smoky flavor of the bacon itself, but then we have right in here, we have a wonderful bacon grease, and this is what's gonna act as our butter. So I'm gonna pour that over, and you see, I like to check how much I have in there. If you don't have enough, you supplement with butter, and that's fine. Sometimes bacon is more lean, sometimes it's less lean, but what I'm gonna do with that bacon fat right in there I thought I got out my food scooper and I didn't, so we're gonna use my hands, guys. It's gonna be just like cooking in the kitchen with hands today. We have onion and we have celery, and we're gonna put this right into that bacon grease. And do you hear that? Do you hear that beautiful sound? That is flavor cooking the onion that is just gonna layer on even more flavor. I've been chopping up and mincing the garlic. I always like to smash it and then I just go through with my knife and really keep going back and forth in little quick chops until it's nice and minced. And then my herbs, you know, this is Thanksgiving. We're gonna use the traditional herbs. We have lots of sage because, you know, sage is needed at Thanksgiving. I have some rosemary in there. Now, when I chop rosemary, I always think it's easier to chop it with something else like sage if you can, because rosemary, if you just chop it by itself, it kind of flies all over. And while sometimes that's okay, we like the small rosemary, we don't need it all over our kitchen. So I just like to kind of give it a rough chop with all that sage, which instantly, guys, if, if you're getting ready for Thanksgiving, this is what you wanna smell. And then I have thyme. Now, Instead of chopping all my thyme, I like to just take it and pull off all the leaves from the stems and pull off all those little small ones on top too and put them right in with my herbs. So I'm usually just gonna try to strip these leaves off. And if you get a few of the small stems, I'm okay with that because they kind of break up pretty small when you're going to actually cook them. See how you can just kind of go backwards against that grain and you can get all those nice leaves off. And then you can do one final, one final kind of chop here. So what I have over here is my onion, my celery. Now remember, I should always season it every step. So we're gonna season it a little bit now because if you season well all along the way, you end with a really well seasoned dish. And now on top of that, I'm gonna put all this wonderful garlic, which has so much flavor, the sage, the rosemary, the thyme, and a small amount of Italian sausage, which has even more of those herbs in it. So what we're gonna do, that sausage is gonna partake just a little bit more heartiness, but also all that flavor right into this. That mixture of sausage, onion, celery is cooling now on the stove. I turned it off and I'm just crumbling or chopping my bacon. I like to make my bacon really crisp. So really you could have crumbled this. I like it nice and crisp. So it just is gonna kind of melt into everything and really just impart that flavor. Now we get to the bread where we're gonna mix it all together. So I took a country loaf. I like more of a rustic bread, whether it's homemade, kind of like a sourdough or a nice, just kind of crusty, crunchy loaf. And then I chop it up into pieces, obviously, or I should say cube it into nice, big, hefty cubes. And I like it to get dried out do you hear that? Do you hear how it's nice and dry in the oven? Because if you just try to sit it out overnight, it will dry around the edges. But if you dry it in the oven, it dries to the center so it can soak up the moisture that we're gonna add to it much better. So I have all this and this is when I get out my, my big Thanksgiving bowl. This is what I do certain things in and especially stuffing. I'm usually one or dressing. Do you call it stuffing or dressing? I know it kind of depends what it is and where you're from, but I usually go with too small a bowl. This is my bowl when I don't want to go with too small a bowl that I make sure I go with. 
So what I'm gonna start with is my stock. I'm using a good turkey stock, but you could also use a chicken stock, a vegetable stock. Turkey stock, if you can have it, a good homemade one's gonna impart so much more flavor. And I'm gonna add one egg to it. That's just gonna help kind of bind this slightly. It's not enough to make it like a bread pudding or anything, but it is enough just to bring it all together. And I always like to whisk it, if I can, just outside of the mixture in here, because that's just gonna ensure that it's really well combined. So all that beautiful stock, I'm just gonna pour over this. There's no reason not to. And we're gonna mix it all together at the end, but what we're gonna do first is make sure we add all the goodness. So we have bacon that we chopped up. So imagine these flavors working together. This is to me a really good stuffing. If you're not one that usually kind of finds stuffing that exciting, this one has a lot going on. We have cubes of smoked Gouda cheese. Now this has that, again, it's playing the smoky flavor that the bacon has. It's kind of working together with it, which I really like. And then we have this mixture of sausage and onion and celery that was all cooked in that bacon grease. I've been stirring this together a few times just to make sure we're really starting to soak in that bread with the beautiful liquid here. So you can see there's just a little bit that pools in the bottom and that's good. You want a little bit of that excess. That's always the play of a good stuffing or dressing is to make sure you have the right amount of moisture. I remember my grandma Conrad. We always would every year talk about this because she was always just felt like she needed to work with it getting too much, too little. And you know, I said, Grandma, it's always good. You don't have to worry about it. And this recipe just comes out perfect to me every time. So I'm gonna pour it all right into my buttered baking dish. And this can also, if you're ever wanting to make sure you can work ahead, you could put this together the day before and you could bake it the day of. That's kind of the beauty of it here. And what I'm doing is making sure I get out all of that goodness. We went to the work of chopping it. We went to the work of putting it in here. We wanna make sure we get all that flavor in there because that's the fun part, that's the good part. And now we're going to, this would be my final check. I will always kind of, if I need to, distribute pieces of cheese better because notice how I cubed the cheese. That means that you're gonna get these little pockets of melted, delicious, smoky Gouda cheese. And if nothing else, that right there is what's gonna excite everyone for Thanksgiving more than anything is the smoky cheese, okay? Smoked Gouda makes everyone happy and it makes the world just a little bit of a better place. So now we're gonna put foil on it and we're gonna bake this right in the oven. You could, like I said, put this into a fridge if you wanted to. I'm putting parchment over so the food does not touch the foil. We're gonna bake it, then we're gonna eat it. And when you take it out of the oven, it gets slightly souffléed. So about halfway through baking, I took off the cover so it get a little bit browned and crusty back again on top and finished baking. But at first, it just really helps make sure the bread is hydrated. If you, I, I want you to be here and smelling this. You get the smokiness from the bacon and the cheese. You get the smell of Thanksgiving though with the sage and the thyme. And everything comes together in something that's truly special. When you think about it, it's pretty humble ingredients. But they come together to create something that honestly is usually one of my favorites at Thanksgiving. I love a good stuffing. And I think I always look forward to it maybe more than some people. Cause I think some people think it's boring. And guess what? Look at this, look at that cheese right there. That's what you get. You get the pockets of the cheese in this. And that's one of my favorite parts of having those cubes of cheese like we did is you get fun little beautiful extra little packages of it's almost like a little gift. And then of course let it cool off a little bit, but let's be honest, I've burned my mouth before. I can do it again. Mmm. 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 That's so good. You get everything in one bite. You get that smoky flavor. Balanced though, with that beautiful bread that has still kind of that crust to it. That's why I love using a good country loaf. I think it maintains that texture that you want. It doesn't just go down to nothing like some white breads can do. And it really holds up. And what's best about this, this is not gonna be just kind of a quiet note behind the rest of the meal. This is gonna be one of the main attractions because it has so much flavor. It was so fun and easy to put together and everyone's gonna be a little bit wowed on how you created something unique and different from the usual year to year stuffing. You can still make that if everyone needs that. Try something new though and add it to your repertoire too because I think people are gonna enjoy it. As always, share this video around because this recipe and video, while it may not be something you make, it may be something the next person makes and is so excited to find. And that's what's great about food. It's for sharing and it's for giving to others. So check my website, wiseguide.com, for this full recipe and everything else you need for a great Thanksgiving meal. Happy Thanksgiving.